So why are they teaching the globe model? There is no such thing, of course, as the globe model. Earth is a sphere. This is not a model. Well, you see, the, the globe is a container. With the biosphere on the outside, and it contains molten rock, iron. There's probably crystallized iron in the core. So, yeah, Earth is a container, a spherical container. And it's a container of all the known land. Where would the known land be placed elsewhere? Mars, I guess. That's unknown mostly, but it's also partly known. Oh, known land. And you see, have you heard of such a thing as no-fly zones? Uh, yes. There are also no-sail zones. I recall many times on the nautical charts where I was delivering boats, there's places where one may not sail over. Uh, usually, almost always, they're military um, areas. And I recall having to sail around a fucking square where it said um, uh, restricted because ordinance had been dumped there. And, you know, just to be safe, I mean, it's been since World War II. But yeah, no fly zones, no sail zones, no swimming zones, etc., etc., etc. Almost always military. For instance, you can't fly in certain areas near the Arctic Circle or the Antarctic Circle. One cannot fly over the Antarctic, and yet many people have done so, many people are doing so, and many people will probably continue doing so. Of course, I can't fly over the Antarctic. I don't have the money. Anybody who wants to visit the Antarctic and see all of the new land may do so. The reasons being is because there are lands there that... Um, we're not supposed to know about. I'll give you one example. Sir Captain George Hubert Wilkins, a contemporary of Admiral Byrd, he flew beyond Antarctica 5,000 miles according to his records. He flew an aircraft in the 1930s 5,000 miles. Uh, no. He took a boat with an airplane on it. And he said that he found there many, many lands and peoples. And peoples? No. He didn't say anything about finding peoples. I guess I'll just have to roll the clip, huh? We'll now show you the pictures. Our base at Deception Island, the center of the whaling industry, attracted millions of small birds of the albatross family. We had hoped to use the ice flows in this harbor for a takeoff, but the unusual seasonal conditions had melted the ice and we were forced to go further south. We loaded the plane on the Williams Cosby and proceeded through the magnificent Antarctic scenery. We traveled by boat for a thousand miles along these picturesque mountainous coasts and later flew over them in our airplanes, covering a total distance of 6,000 miles. The weather was continually bad for flying, low clouds and heavy seas. We passed through the Numer Channel, hoping to find some smooth slope for a landing field. Some of the places from a distance looked smooth, but on near approach, they were found to be undulating. No place along this Antarctic shore did we find even a mile stretch of land from which we could fly our planes. We anchored in Port Lacroix, and from there made several flights crossing Graham Land and discovering five new islands. Then we pushed our way through the packed ice that was always in motion. The swell of the sea penetrated even the ice pack, and behind the icebergs we found very little shelter. We finally managed to take off in the lee of this huge iceberg and flew south to extend the coast of Hurst Land and found new ice-bound seas. In spite of the dangers and difficulties, we were able to accomplish the object of the expedition and return with our men and equipment in good condition. 5,000 miles beyond 
Antarctica. That's just one example of an explorer who has found lands that are not, on, uh, not at all on any of our maps. Where he went is on damn near every map. One can even view it from Google Earth. They are excluded from all of our maps. That's why international pilots have such a thing as no-fly zone because they don't want those lands to be discovered. Yeah, these days many of that land out there have people on them, mostly scientific stations, but I suppose if somebody had a boat and wanted to go visit them, by golly, one may do so. This is the logic ah, of flat earth people. And they're just so goddamn sure of themselves that they don't even bother to look up shit that would disprove their beliefs. Which I have done, though! So. Oh, ha 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 ha.